Hi everybody, it's Miss Jennikin. Uh, for today's read aloud, we have The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl. There are 4,000 different kinds of crickets. Some live underground, others above. Some live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Both male and female crickets can hear, but only the male can make a sound. By rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say that it looks like a song. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to the branch of the tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hmm. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Hmm. That poor little cricket, he can't make a sound, hmm. Good evening, word a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. Did the luna moth say anything? No. They were just very quiet, huh? And the cricket liked that. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time... What do you think's going to happen this time? Can you predict what's going to happen next? He chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. The end. 
This was The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carle.